Hello everyone. So I've made some progress. Now where do we start? So let's start with my little blooper on the video. It, this end is where the image goes in. I was saying that end, hey ho, it's a learning curve for me. However, now I've uh, got to play around and you know have I've have had it powered up. Uh, I won't do it just now because I just want to show you what I've got up to at the moment. So I had to go out and buy some more of these digital calipers because when I moved to house, I God knows where I've put those. So bought out some new ones then, which just then does help to get things printed. So here we go. If I, if I just uh, move my screen slightly, so just so we can see, got me two parts that I'm going to play around with and essentially what we're going to have here is a slide on element there and then a slide on element here now I have made a bit of a boo-boo boo-boo do you want to just call that we'll call it a boo-boo I thought that I'd made this longer. Uh, this was before I got the calipers. I thought, yeah, well, I'll just throw something together. It fits-ish, but yeah, I'm probably going to redo it again a little bit larger. But that, if I can hold that there, is essentially what we're, we're looking at. It's looking quite neat, tidy. Uh, the one thing I want to play around with is this. So this here is a... Um, I'm going to try and pronounce it right. It's a chord loop. Ooh, there you go. I've been playing that with uh, with Professor J. I think I mentioned on the YouTube as uh, being able to magnify the image. Now, one thing I've got at the moment is it just pressed through, press that out. So this is how it goes together. Quite, uh, I'm going to say a simple thing. I'm trying to do this through the screen itself. But anyway, you, you, uh, anyway, I give up. So that goes in there like that. I need to get that so it's more snug like this. This is the, the lens for that. That's not going anywhere at all. So what I want to do is get that so it sits over there probably up until here. Might, I might even go a bit further actually to cover up the label. That'll be nice and secure. I'll have a mounting hole uh, that will allow me to get the power supply and then I've, I've had a 3D printed box initially for uh, two batteries. So I'm going to make a, a single battery. We'll have a switch on there so hopefully just a little toggle switch on and off. But it's, it's coming along. I just thought I'd kind of give everyone an update of that. Uh, as everyone knows, if well, if anyone's done 3D printing, they know it's not a very quick process to whiz something out of this. Uh, I know that I probably could have whizzed it out quicker, but that took me about two hours to do. Uh, it just, no, it's nice and light anyway, uh, which I don't want to make this any heavier than it should be. But there we go, that's the update for today, and hopefully we'll have something maybe tomorrow or the day after. We'll see how it goes. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.